Following its US launch in 2020, the Tesla Model Y has finally arrived on UK roads, completing Elon Musk's sexy lineup of electric cars. We'll start as we normally do with the exterior design and that front end, which I don't have much to say about it because it's basically a Model 3. You've got the cat-like headlights and that long swooping bonnet. We've popped it open because I want to show you the front boot. That rewards you with 117 litres of space, perfect for your fast charging cables. The raised ride height here has resulted in a taller roof line. We've got black trim running throughout the door sills. But there are some familiar design elements like the flush door handles helping with aerodynamics. I've really enjoyed these 19 inch wheels. They do a great job at smoothing out aggressive undulations. When it comes to dimensions, it's smaller than its Model X sibling, but longer and wider than one of its key rivals, the Audi Q4 e-tron. Lengthwise, it comes in at 4,751 millimeters. So it's 50 millimeters longer than the Model 3 and it's 181 millimeters higher than that car, creating lots of extra space inside the cabin, which you'll find out more about later on in the video. There's nothing too interesting about the design of the rear end here. It's like Tesla have just pumped up the Model 3's backside. You've got a large pane of rear privacy glass and that swooping tailgate lid, but it just doesn't stand out among other small SUVs in my opinion, but let me know your thoughts. Okay then, let's discover the practicality on offer inside by popping this open. An automatic tailgate comes as standard. So the Model Y offers a boot capacity of 854 litres. Very cavernous indeed and outperforms many of its rivals in this regard. If you need to fit an adult's bike into the back or slide some skis into the rear cabin space, you're going to have to fold down that rear bench. And you can do from the boot. There's a couple of switches. Just toggle those and the seats will fly down in a 60-40 arrangement, extending the capacity to 2,041 litres. Okay then, let's find out how the Model Y drives on our beautifully well-maintained UK roads. Let's take a look. This long range model provides an all electric range of up to 331 miles. Taking a look at the data on the display then, it says that this car averages around 258 miles. So that's a little bit less than Tesla's claimed figure, but it's still one of the best ranges offered by a fully electric model. Unfortunately, the suspension is where I have issues with the Model Y's driving dynamics. While it is based on the same platform as the Model 3, the suspension has been stiffened to accommodate the extra weight and this results in a firmer ride that allows those undulations to start seeping into the cabin. Big humps and bumps send a thump throughout the cabin so this is most certainly not the most settled small SUV to drive on those pothole played country roads. Perhaps then a comfort mode would have been beneficial here like you'd find in a lot of this car's rivals to smooth out the ride quality on those rough road surfaces. Generally speaking the Model Y is very quiet when you compare it to combustion powered models but when you compare it to other electric cars on the market which I'm going to have to do it is one of the louder offerings visibility is okay it's definitely best out the front windscreen because there's no driver dash and because you sit quite high up in this car you've got a clear unobstructed view of the road ahead and you can't even see the bonnet it's like you're driving a spaceship or something like that if I'm being honest I wish the wing mirrors were a bit larger considering the size of this car and you have rather chunky pillars here that obstruct your view somewhat at junctions and traffic lights. The view out the back window is pretty restrictive as well and because that panel is tinted you're not going to be able to see out of that at night and my over the shoulder view again is quite restrictive due to some chunky rear pillars though because there's loads of sensors and cameras dotted around this car there's no issue with maneuvering into and out of those tight parking spaces. Okay then you've probably been taking a look at this screen we're going to pull over now we we'll are dive into it in a bit more detail as well as check out the other interior highlights. According to Tesla, 95% of the Model 3's technology has been carried over to the Model Y and that's particularly evident inside the cabin here. It adopts the same minimalist setup with pretty much everything apart from the transmission and the indicators operated using this large 15 inch display mounted centrally to the dashboard and we'll dive into that in just a sec. But first I want to talk about the materials on display. The variety in offer isn't as elaborate as you'd find in equivalent rival offerings, but the quality is certainly there. It's clean, it's minimal, 
and it's uncomplicated, which is quite welcome for a new electric car. I'm not finding the seats to be particularly comfortable though, certainly not as comfortable as those inside the iX3 and the EQC from Mercedes. On the bright side, they are very durable and easy to clean. Any grubby fingerprints or crumbs on them, grab a cloth, wipe them off, and they look good as new. This is the smoothest and most responsive screen I've used in any new car, and it's great fun while stationary. On the left-hand side, we've got a large view of the map. One press of navigate will bring up all the destinations you've been to recently. You can set home and work, and a simple click of one of those, and the route loads instantly. Fantastic navigation. And on the right, the car is constantly being monitored by the myriad of cameras and radars dotted around the exterior, showing you a complete view of your surroundings. Along the bottom, you'll see shortcut buttons that are fully customizable, getting you quickly to those essential menus. There's some familiar ones here, such as Bluetooth. Your phone connects up to it incredibly quickly, and that's how I've been using the display. We also have Spotify, and I love the user interface for this. Really clean and nice big icons for those albums and podcasts. You also, if you're stationary, you can watch some YouTube, you can watch Netflix, play some games, and play around with the quirky uh, toy box function that kids and adults who are really kids at heart, let's be honest, are gonna absolutely love to play around with. Two notable absent features though, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But this is one of the only cars where you don't really miss it due to the intuitiveness of that display and the well-integrated Tesla app. Let's explore the center console. Underneath the display, we have not one, but two wireless phone charging pads. Nice to see. We've got a cavernous compartment here. Inside, there's a couple of USB-C ports. Good to see that it's the most up-to-date USB connection. You can lob loads of stuff in there. We've got masks, wipes, hand cream, my phone, you name it, you can shove it in that cavernous compartment. Get a couple of cup holders and another cavernous center compartment here that inhabits a 12 volt socket. Often the second row in electric cars is nothing to write home about. They can feel quite claustrophobic and uncomfortable, but that's not the case with the Model Y. It's spacious, it's breathable, and there's lots of room to stretch out. Headroom, excellent, miles away from that glass roof, so passengers over six foot in the back here gonna be absolutely fine. If you need to cram three people into the back here, what's it gonna be like for the middle passenger? Well, let's slide across and find out. Oh, oh, the back of that seat is a bit plasticky. That's digging into my back, not particularly pleasant. But on the bright side, the floor here is completely flat. There's no bulky transmission tunnel that you'd find inside a combustion powered model. So the middle passenger can stretch their legs out how they please. Overall, the back space is more than suitable for a growing family. Well, if you are looking for an electric car with a reliable range, responsive infotainment, and a decent amount of practicality, more than enough for your growing family, then this is a very, very good option. Overall, if you just want a bulkier Model 3, you know you're absolutely happy with that car, but you need it in a more family-friendly form factor, then this is perfect. If you're interested in getting behind the wheel of a Model Y, guys, and you want to explore your options in more detail with a vehicle expert, then just give our team a call in the number in the banner below. Or if you're watching this on a laptop, tablet, or toaster, you can click the pop-out banner up there to book a time for a quick chat to run through those options, whenever's convenient for you, really. Thanks again for watching, guys. All the YouTube stuff now. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Also subscribe if you're haven't already done so and click the notification bell to get notified when we upload an in-depth vehicle review. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Safe driving.